Amakano, which is what Filipinos call Americans. And not only that, I'm a Kano child of the 60s and 70s, which means I grew up on some pretty awful food, like Tang, which would not be my drink of choice if I were going to the moon, and Wonder Bread, don't ask. Oh, and Uncle Ben's rice, which I later found is not that bad nutritionally, but not exactly a connoisseur's choice of rice. Now I work at the International Rice Research Institute in the Philippines, or ERI, and I've decided to join ERI's sensory rice tasting panel because, let's face it, I think most rice pretty much tastes the same. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's, that's my answer. I disagree. Normally, that's what people always say. They normally don't think so much about rice because it's just rice. We eat it every day. But people can easily say if it's good quality or bad quality. All right. So we're going to evaluate tastes and flavors in rice today. We have a form which has a description of all uh, words to describe the rice. All you have to do is check all that the rice. Most important people, I think, in this is the person eating the rice. If we develop a lot of these varieties, but they're not palatable, they're not acceptable to the consumer, they won't buy it. So there's no poverty alleviation for the farmer. There's no, there's nobody who is benefiting from a variety that people cannot eat. <laughs> it's not like that. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> that was okay? I never liked wine. How come? I don't like the smell, it's too strong. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Bitter is the first word that comes out. So now it's my turn to be the... Yeah, but you won't get the face. <laughs> as someone who didn't grow up as a rice eater, mm -hmm. is there's a blandness to me, maybe a milkiness. So when, when you train us in, in, the, in, rice. in rice tasting, are you taking us from the subjective to a more objective, do you think? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do, actually. Because normally people just say they like it or they don't like the rice. When I ask them why, they say, oh, I just don't like it. Or I don't, or I like it. They cannot describe the rice in a way that people or scientists can really figure out, pinpoint, what trait they're supposed to target in understanding okay. green quality. Because of uh, this rice tasting session, now I've learned lots of things and I've been challenged to really uh, think deeply on how, how to describe rice. So I think that's the most challenging part and that's also the fun part for me. It's a learning experience. It almost smells like starchy, flour, flour like raw bread material. Okay. Starchy, flour. Burlap sacks. Burlap sack. And something burning, um, like toasted cereal. And you said it's neutral. <laughs> so this is what you're trying to do with us this summer, is take those of us who aren't used to tasting rice, and you're essentially giving us experience enough to develop a vocabulary. Yes. And then you have a dream about that vocabulary, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. So just like what they do with wine and other food products, they develop this flavor wheel. I wish something like that will be done on rice, especially in grain quality work. We don't have the vocabulary yet. Once we have the, those set of words that we could use, we can then pinpoint what chemicals or what characteristics are found in the grain that are associated with those words, which we can analyze or quantify and then go um, associate those with genetics. Or with environmental factors. Okay, so it is a journey from the subjective mm -hmm. to, to the, the objective. objective. Well, I like sinandoming. I like the meow, that that happy quality. Yeah. Fresh, medium to long grain. It's like motor oil. I'm not picky about my rice. It's like it's like candy. Whatever is available in, 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 in unmilled. It's like an elephant making its way through a china cabinet. Excuse me. Sushi. Sushi. Yeah, uh, Japanese rice. Japanese rice. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good, right? 